What's up guys, it's Matt Charles Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the action which is List Files in Folder by Path. So this action allows you to pass in the path that you want to search in, and then when it's triggered you can search inside that path to find the the folder and find the, the thing that the files and the records that you try and find inside of it. So let's take a look at it today. I'm in Power Automate here. I've got a OneDrive for Business flow and I've got it triggered on when a file is created in my Power Automate folder. I can then click on the new step and type OneDrive for Business, find the connector and scroll down until I find find files in folder by path. Now the first thing it's asked me for is a search query. So this is what you want to search for inside of the folder that you are looking. So this could be the name of a file. You can pass some dynamic content in to say, hey, I want to search in this folder uh, via this. So you could put something in like, okay, I want to find all PNGs, for instance. The next thing you need is the path, the folder path. Now, this is one of the only times I've had an issue with the OneDrive for Business Connector. Now, Every time we've used the by path command before, what it would what it would do is it would look and it would find anything via that path, which was fine when we were trying to find a file or trying to trigger something on a file. But this time we're actually trying to find things in a folder. Now, unfortunately, as you look and as you go through this, um, uh, as you go through the the pick and explorer, I can't actually select any folders in here so it's not letting me choose a folder myself the other thing to know is that if i try to put the file path in here that i'm getting from the previous step what that actually what that's actually going to do is that's going to resolve to the file that i'm that, I, that is being created at the time so it's not going to look at the folder it's going to look at just the file that you're creating so in which case it's not useful at all the other thing is that it doesn't it doesn't really work if you try and import a, a zip file, for instance. It doesn't look through the contents of the zip file. It also doesn't work if you upload a folder because I can't get it to trigger on that either. So instead, what you what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder path here. So I'm just going to say forward slash power automate. Um, if you do know any different from this, like a, a way to dynamic get this, I mean, you, there, there are certain other things you could try and do, like try and intercept the, the path as it's being created. But when it's not resolving into this folder path, it doesn't actually come out in a nice, neat format. So it's a bit hard to use this at the moment. Um, but I said, if you do have any, any details, let me know in the comments down below um, about other uses for this, uh, which would be really useful for me and for others. The next thing we need to search, need to select is the search mode. So it says file search mode, and there's two options. There's OneDrive search and there's pattern search. OneDrive search is going to ignore the folder that we're locking in, and it's just going to look for anything in your OneDrive based on your search query. Pattern is going to look for a pattern inside of the folder that you're looking at. So in this instance, we're going to choose pattern. Uh, we also do have an optional parameter, which is the number of files. So we can specify how many files we want to bring back. Uh, we have a minimum of one or a maximum of 100. So we're just going to leave it at 10 for now, and we're going to test this. So we'll hit test. I'll perform the trigger action. We'll save and test. And then we'll hop over to my OneDrive for Business, and we'll create a file in that folder. So uh, that should be running now. Well. We're in my OneDrive for Business. I'm just going to click New. Uh, I'm going to click Forms for Excel. Call this Test 2. Click Create. I'm just going to create the file. And then if I flick back to my OneDrive for Business, we can see that it's run successfully. And we'll have a look at what it's brought back. So we'll just wait for this to update. Uh, or we'll go back out and we'll go back into it. Sometimes it doesn't like doing this, but only when I'm recording. Um, so we'll expand this, and we can see it's searching for this, it's searching for the pattern, and we can see that the it's returned a result back, which is this 2020-06-10, maybe a GeForce overlay dot, uh, MPG, which is a, a file that I've uploaded. Uh, we'll see if there's anything else. Uh, it's also found uh, a YouTube uh, PNG, uh, and... Um, 
it's also it's also found a file inside of one of the zip files as well. So that we've got like content that is finding and it's pulling back. So again, this is useful, but I'm still struggling with understanding uh, why we need to sort of hard code in a folder path um, or, or trigger this. I try multiple triggers. I try multiple ways. The only thing I can think of is if you are building a path yourself um, as part of, as part of this, um, you could potentially use that. Um, but I'm just trying to get it to work using dynamic content and put it in because it was just only ever returning the object or the item that I was triggering this on. So I can't I can't figure a way to, to work this. But as I, as I said, if you know better than me. Uh, which is completely likely, let me know in the comments down below and we can share the knowledge and educate people. It's one of the reasons why I do these videos is try and educate people um, because sometimes just looking at the Microsoft Docs site is just not good enough. Um, it just doesn't give you the information that you need and sometimes some of these things just aren't documented. So what do you guys think of this? Is it useful? Is it not useful? Do you think you'll struggle with the same pitfalls I had with this let me know down below if you did like this video if you could like and share it with your friends that would be appreciated if you've not already please subscribe to my youtube channel and I'll see you next time